and I'm live. Look at me. All right. I started this earlier, and I'm glad I looked because it was unlisted. So none of y'all could even see this live. So lucky for me, huh? Because I probably would have done like a half an hour for nothing. <laughs> it's okay. It's all for you kids. So, yep, and now people are viewing. Look at that. I did it right this time. I promise. I'm not a noob, but I am live. So um, I did get kind of yelled at from a few fans. Why the hell did I post that I was going live and with a guest to do Q&As about the BDSM lifestyle, and it didn't happen? Well, unfortunate events happen. So that's not going to happen, um, which is sad. But... I I do mess up quite a bit, and um, moving on. Okay, um, I was gonna actually do a live rant, uh, but I decided to change my mind. Good thing too, I'm pretty sure. I'll get to see your guys' comments here in a few. Um, ever a post for me for live? I don't I don't even see the. Uh, the chat yet. So I gotta get into that chat room. There we go. Yeah. Okay. There it is. So I got the chat, finally. Um, Mayo, Mystique, and Natasha. Hi, hi, hi. All right, so if you have any questions, um, you could definitely, um, Ask. Let me pop this little thing out. There we go. Now I shouldn't lag anymore. Hopefully I don't. If I start lagging, let me know. I'll start closing stuff out, like my porn sites or something. I don't know. Let's see if it works. Boom. Okay. So, yeah, I was going to, I don't know. I just had a bunch of stuff uh, irritating me. I don't want to go into it because every time I go into it, it's a rant fest and it's basically me being single and putting myself out there again. It is, I, I don't know, it's, it's like, it's horrible. It's very horrible. Um, <laughs> uh, probably have a lot of porn sites open that makes me lag when they look. None at the moment. That's what I use this for. So um, putting myself out there finally again. It's <laughs> I, I I come across a bunch of uh, I don't know, but the biggest rant I have about it is when somebody is interested in my daddy side, I guess, or just like the fact that I'm in the BDSM. And I've never watched Fifty Shades of Grey, which is weird. Is it Fifty Shades of Grey? I don't know. It's Fifty Shades, whatever it's called. Um, I think I've watched Magic Mike a few times. But I've never seen Fifty Shades. So when, when these girls, because I'm thinking, you know, they'll see it. They go, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. Uh, the relation dynamic. I never had a guy that wants to be affectionate and loving. Which is weird because every time I get with a female, they don't like the attention or the affection, which is odd when, when girls, you know. Anyways, I guess they just don't know what to do with it once they have it. I'm, I'm not too sure, but I guess those are 50 uh, vanillas, I guess, whatever. Um, it, it's just funny that, what? Yeah, uh, some Amelia says 50 Shades of Awful. I've never seen it. I heard a third one's out. I've never even seen a first one. So my rant was basically, I'm getting off. If I'm, I'm getting off topic, I know I am. So I, I, I stream to my this this channel because I have two. I stream this channel, and I don't know what it is that they're so confused about. You doing okay, Kitty? 
wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. So they, they, they come back and ask me, how many females do you have? And I'm like, why would you think that? Oh, yeah, Tyler, I, I have been sick. Did I mention that? I don't know. I'm just kind of going on here. Um, I was sick for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I got I got all my I got all my meds. Pills, pills, pills. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they said strep throat, but I I always talk this deep, so I don't know. So yeah. And they always come back basically saying, I have a lot of females. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you, you mentioned about all your subs. My subs. I mean, my subscribers, I talk about all my subs. I don't know. Whatever. I'll get the kitty if he comes around. He's playing right now. But, <clears throat> yeah, I get a lot of... Um, Oh, Taylor, sorry. I am I only glanced at the chat. I'm trying to, like, focus here because I'm sick, you know, and it's hard to focus. It's hard to focus. So uh, I'm just waiting for anybody who has questions, if you have a question. It does say live Q&A. I'm just talking until I get a question, and I will go on and on about it. <clears throat> Come here. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. You want to go live? Come here. Yeah. This is Mr. Asshole. Yeah, yeah. Get me out. Now. Okay, bye. Here, you can walk around right here. Don't touch the keyboard. Okay, bye. Jesus. Anyways. Um... What else is on my mind? Um, <laughs> the single life, it, it, it's, it's, it sucks because the single life don't suck. I'm going to light one up if, if you kids are okay with that. Too bad. Get over it. His name's Asshole. That's his name. Someone asked. Yeah. Because he's an asshole. I think the cat's name is Waffle. I, I don't even know, to be completely honest with you. I just call him Asshole. So, um, <laughs> yeah, putting yourself out there, okay, and then and then you, and then I talk to uh, like waste of my time, I guess. I, you know, basically, go lay down, and yeah, it's ridiculous. I already took this medicine because I was kind of froggy, I guess. But this is just the part one. Maybe next time people will be like, oh, I didn't know he was going to do it on Tuesday. I'll do it next Wednesday, maybe. It just depends. Uh, since I've been sick, I haven't been sleepy much. Like, I don't know. I think I, I think I had two hours today and, like, five yesterday. I'm not too sure. I really don't. So I know Sunday, Sunday I slept all day, apparently. I mean, I slept, I woke up, and I slept. <clears throat> how exploring and keep going, you mean, how is it evolving in the BDSM community? Is that what you're asking? Myself evolving? Um... I have not been back in the community in a while. Um, I'm a pretty open and honest person. It's because my heart was um, involved with two females that was also in the, commu the community as well. And, uh, yeah, I lost both of them. And I don't really want to go for a while because I would feel awkward in ways. So I haven't been to the community, the open community. I can still go to the dungeons and stuff, but I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. 
uh, what? Um, better to try not to. Yeah. Well. Um. I I don't know. Yeah, it's not like I'm I'm rushing to find someone. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't even rush because number one, I, I'm just gonna be more pickier, I guess. <clears throat> Unless they're like really cute and really young, then all of my deal breakers will become sacrifices, I guess. <laughs> At least I can be a man and admit that, you know. Well, some deal breakers. I, I can't be with someone that smokes weed all day and have no priorities. But, you know, a lot of people younger don't have priorities. But that's what daddy's here for, to develop them and guide them into a uh, woman. I like being a mentor, I guess. I am 40 years old. I know, right? Where's all my grays at? I don't know. I don't die. I mean, I got a little bit. Wait, maybe it's on this side. I don't know. It's I got a couple of grays somewhere. I think it this little patch right here, I think. I, I don't know. Still got my teeth. I just got my wisdom teeth pulled. Because I had these pulled. Uh, when I was 30 and 35, and then both of these pulled out at the same time uh, this, year, this year, I think. Maybe it was last year. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Um, Kelsey says, you know, no way I look that age, but I know. I'm cute. It's my personality. It's not – I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a chubby guy, you know, you know my little – Chubby chin, my 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 chubby. Chin. I don't know, whatever. Um, I don't know. I don't like I don't like females my age, but that's a, <laughs> that's a totally different topic. Unless you really want to know why, and that that can spend about twenty minutes of ranting. And, um, Amelia says, uh, "I think it's hard in the BDSM community lately." Are we talking about locally, or are we talking about Reddit or Tumblr? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. A lot of subs and doms haven't been talking it seriously or taking it seriously. But that's, there's a lot of people that are fake. So welcome to the real world. And my T and G group. I don't know what that means. There's been, uh, yes, I know what that means. Yeah, I think so. It'd be a stab, stab in a dark guess, um, <laughs> but I think I know what it means. <clears throat> but I don't want to say it out loud because if I was wrong, I should have known, right? So anyways, there's been so many people misinforming others and hurting our group, right? Because it's their opinion. See, here's the thing. Oh, next generation. Oh, still don't know what that. I guess that's a group name. Because I was thinking transgender. T, and gender. Okay. Um. Yeah, misinforming others and hurting the group. That's because other people's dynamic. They think since they've been in it for three years. That their dynamic works because of their relationship, and they think that it's going to work for everybody, or because of their opinions, or they're still noobs and they read something on Tumblr. Anyways, um, it says, uh, yeah, I agree with the uh, media. It's kind of sucked lately, especially if you're a little or a baby girl. I think just lots of misunderstanding. You know, speaking about all that, and I'll, I'll say this live, I don't care what your age is. Um, a lot of YouTubers do. But what I say, I'll say, you know, 
if you haven't noticed the other video, if anybody new is watching, this cat will not calm down. My heater is kicking my ass right now. Um, that underage littles on YouTube, I don't know why people like get so uh, frustrated about it. I understand what they're saying that you should, if you're 12, you can't be a you know five year old age regressor. It doesn't make sense. It really don't. <clears throat> but I would rather you, because they say don't come to my channel. I would say please come and learn something. And maybe what I say will help you understand when you do get older. God damn it, Kate! My cat doesn't like boxes. Cat, I, 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 put, I put a box out one day thinking the cat would play in it. Cat will not play in the box. I left a bag, like you get a grocery store, a plastic bag on the floor, and the cat absolutely loves plastic bags. It literally, his head is caught in, in the handle part, and he's like going backwards. I'd show it, but my house is dirty. So, anyways, <clears throat> uh, like it's for people with BDSM who are 18 to 30. That's, oh, yeah, okay. I was going to say that is um, about average, um, sort of, okay, like, like what I have noticed at the age, the age groups are usually, like in females, putting myself out there again as a single man, um, females under the age 30 have no idea. What, I'm just a 50-50 type of girl. So are you dominant or are you submissive? <laughs> Cat is so stupid. Hilarious. But anyways, um, you know, and, and these females have no idea, especially like under 30. Maybe, maybe 25 they start to understand, but they still don't know yet. I don't know. Just most. I'm talking about majority that are single in my area. I haven't talked to the others outside. Um, don't need to because I don't like long distance relationships. Not to mention it, but um, they just don't really have an understanding yet. But the females over 30, they're like, oh, I'm submissive. I love being submissive. Well, because that's the ones I try to talk to. I don't try to talk to the dominant ones, but yeah. Um, so, off that subject, uh, comment BB, um, God. Why are you bringing God in this one? If you can see this, I am reaching out to you, God. We're talking about God again. I don't know what they're trying to say here. Uh, there's someone else because I am able to contact you, God. Okay, I don't know if God has anything to do with this. On my own because I'm... What the hell am I reading? I got I got I got I got to share this live because it it's it just makes no sense what is uh what is being said here um like what 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 is your problem okay I need help healing in the name of the father itself are you reading us bible scriptures what what do you think we're doing here like really come on now like, what, what do you think? <clears throat> and time out. That's fine. That made, that made no sense. Like, what, what the hell are you doing here doing Bible studies? Okay. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, a lot of people think... Um, a lot of people think the term uh, that, I ha that I identify myself with, I'm a pedophile automatically. Oh, you're a daddy dog. That has to mean that you only fuck with 10-year-old uh, uh, girls. Where did you come up with that? I love it. It's, it's so, so ignorant. I'm 20, and, so Amelia says... I'm 20, my dad, my, my dom, she didn't say daddy, so that's okay. Uh, he's 28. <clears throat> I was mentored by a dom for a year when you was 15. 
anyways. Um, I learned a lot about being submissive that way and who I am. I feel like I just come into a community with no mentoring. I would less uh, uh, appreciation for the community role I did. Well, you know, no, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you was lucky enough to find a gentleman that showed you something, so you can like you understood who you are at an earlier age than 30, like most females. Um, or, oh, maybe that's because when Fifty Shades came out and they turned, I don't know, either way. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, it, it's, it, it, it just, you know, some, some people are lucky enough. I got to turn the fan on. I'm like, you can't see it, but, oh. Man, let me turn that fan down a little bit. I hope you don't hear it. I don't know. I might have to turn off this heat. Holy hell. See here, six viewers. Where you at, people? Ask me a question. I had a question earlier, and I went off on it. Well, what I mean is I did a hell of a good job. Um... Sorry, I'm seeing messages here. All right, so <clears throat> Fifty Shades is about a chick that never. Uh, okay, so Fifty Shades is a chick that, older chick that always wanted to experience <clears throat> a um, kind of kinky lifestyle, but she never told her partner because a lot of people don't have fucking communication or an honest uh, voice, so they're not open about what they want, and closed mouths don't get fed. So she wrote this book, Canada, what? All right, so this is what I, I'm understanding now. I didn't read it, I didn't watch it, but the reviews and everything else from people's opinions would make sense. Uh, it's just an opinion, I guess, so don't, don't uh, fight me over it. But um, it was just a chick that wanted, uh, it was her fantasy, and she never got it, so she wrote it. Cheers for her, you know. Um, yeah. All right, so I had a question earlier, since nobody wants to ask me anything. How long have we been on live? I don't have a timer. I don't want to take up, you know, an hour doing this. It's kind of boring. It's my first live session. And not too many people on here. <coughs> Man. Um, so this comes from Mary. You know who you are, Mary. You better be watching. I like these questions. Even though I've ran the topic before on, on, a, on a video before, I noticed I was going to smoke this, but I'm trying not to, but I think I'm going to light it up. So... If if you work hard with your little and and, and success, I think succeed. Sorry, I, I'm messing it up here already. If you work hard with your little and succeed to make her feel less anxious or depressed, you know I want to go into that too. And it, and it's true that many people in the BDSM community have anxiety issues or PTSD, or depression, or anti-socialism, or, uh, yeah, bipolar, tripolar. <laughs> I think it's a lot of polars. Um, no, but serious, I've noticed that. I really have. I have. And, um, and a lot of littles are like that. They're, they're usually... Um, anxiety and get depressed easy. I think that's why they age regress because it reminds them of a time that they didn't have to worry. But you know, vanilla people, they, they think otherwise. They think, you know, that uh, age regressors is um, pedophilia. I don't know. It's what people think. And all right, so. 
you know, make her more confident and independent. I know I do. Me? My cuddles? Yeah. I'm sick. Sick in the head, as vanilla people think. So <laughs> um, you make her a little more confident and independent. Do you think that someday she will not in, um, need you and she will not be a little anymore? That is a good question. You blocked me, bruh. You have a receding hairline and you're a 45-year-old virgin that lives in a homeless parents. <laughs> Bro, stop being a tough guy just because you have some kind of power now. What power? Receding hairline, boy. That should take Rogaine. What? You should call me fat. You didn't call me fat. I don't care about my hair. Take your hat off. Stop being scared. Um, you not watch my videos? Hello. So what? I haven't shaved in a while. And what's your point? Good. Because it was it was getting freaking hot in here anyways because my heater was on. So now what? Call me fat too. What the hell? Anyways, you just came in here to troll somebody, bro? What's your point? I'm waiting for it. Okay, cool. Everyone knows I have Snapchat. I show videos. You're trolling me for what? I'm interested in this one. Hold on. Anyways, what a troll. Um, so I'm a 45-year-old virgin that's living at home with my parents. Hold on. Hey, Mom. That has been dead since 98. You know, when this dude uh, was born. Anyways, shave, shave off your head completely bald because you have insecurities and trying to keep every last strand of your hair you have. Insecurities, a little bit, yes. Well, my hair, yeah, I haven't shaved it. You can tell. It's been, I don't know, a month, I guess. Probably. Maybe, maybe less. I don't know. Something like that. Um, what's your point? So, yeah, my mom's been dead for probably as long as you've been born. And my dad has been dead since 07, I guess what? When you was like nine, I don't know. So, then my parents, you're a fucking complete idiot. But that's okay. Keep trolling me. This is hilarious. I'm about to block you so I can move the fuck on. Uh, well, the crazy thing is, is it, they're not even they're not even justifying what my channel represents, which most people do. Stop, stop keeping every last part of your hair. Why are you talking about my hair, bro? Come on. He's talking. What a troll. He's talking about my hair. Who cares? Do you go tell your dad this shit? Like, come on. Anyways. So, uh, yeah, this guy. You want to see more of my imperfections? What? My teeth are a little yellow. Come on. Anyways, moving on, if anyone is ever interested, I was reading something, you rude ass, stupid troll. <clears throat> so the question was if I, like, a dude's not even talking about, like, you know, like, he's talking about my imperfections, like, what the hell? What is your opinion on underage littles? Oh, damn, you wasn't here when I mentioned that? Okay. So, so basically, before I get back to this, you think it's you think it's okay for girls under age of eighteen to participate? Okay, so there's a there's a defined line. All right, this is for Brooke. Participating sexually, you should. The problem with that is littles tend to date older men. 
older men tend to they can manipulate, uh, especially if um, they're they've been around a block a few hundred times. Um, they could be as fake as a 18 year old claiming that he's had a hundred slaves. I've heard it, so you know it's it's not something that um, you should partake in. Um, you know, if you are young and you lose your virginity to somebody that's still in high school with you, I mean, that's that. And you try to make him a daddy dominant, which he will not become, but he can try. He can read and watch and learn and do what he has to to make you happy. And if someone will go out of their way to do something that they're not, you know, they're well credited and, um, which is pretty awesome that somebody would do that. Um, now, being a little non-sexual, that is BDSM. It is under the umbrella, okay? So if you're going to participate with age regressing in your room by yourself or with a playmate non-sexually, it's fine. So, I mean, that's really all I, I have to say about that. Um, Tiny Pixie asked if I was ever weirded out by diapers. You mean you mean adult adult baby diaper? Wait, is that what it's called? I don't know. Where um, uh, older people wear diapers? I have not yet to date one. Um, being around it and um, meeting, <laughs> I've met more men that are into uh, diaper play than females. Am I okay with it now? That is a good question because at first I, I thought it was okay. I kink judged a little bit or kink shamed a little bit and I thought it was retarded. Um, but after learning and knowing now, no, I'm totally fine with it. I don't, I don't look at him anything different now. Um, would you prefer a little baby or a girl? Okay. I get this question a lot. Um, Tiny asks, well, she's getting these questions down now. Cool. So would you prefer a little or a baby girl? Well, don't forget the brat, but um, a, probably a middle. So a little. Um, and the que and you're going to ask why, right? Okay, you did. All right. Well, you're going to ask anyways. So would I prefer a little or a baby? <clears throat> well, a little can grow. Um, a baby is always going to be baby. They're, they need a lot of attention and um, some patience, but a little they they can they can play by themselves and they're needy, but not like a baby would be. Um, they're happy if you just throw them a coloring book. You know, they don't have they don't always have to be on daddy's lap, kind of a thing. So a middle is probably my favorite because they don't need 100%, more like 70%. So yeah, on an age regressor. Um, Tiny says, uh, what is the most rewarding thing about being a daddy? Having the dynamic. Okay, so once it's earned, um, of the of the title of uh, someone being submissive, and they submit to me. I think my favorite thing is is when when my my girl would submit to me. That's my favorite thing. Um, if we're arguing or making love, whatever, when she submits, shuts up, shuts down, listens to me, says yes sir, no sir. That is my favorite, which it's very rare to have. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. um, Mayo, were you talking about littles with anxiety or depression? Did you ever have a little through that? Um, how did you do it? And my daddy is trying to help me with those issues as well. No, what I was saying is, I I'm not saying all 100%, but ma mass majority of age regressors do have, well, I was talking about everyone in the BDSM community. Um, like majority, not all, but God, um, 
mainly age regressors have anxiety and depression. So how do I go through it? You be there for them. <laughs> I mean, really, um, let them know and you know show them that they're being you know that you're the protector and everything will be be all right. Um, Miles says, uh, "Damn, now you got a million questions." Yeah, thanks. All right, Tiny, again, uh, is Daddy Space a thing for you? What is it like? Yeah, it is, actually. Um, it's like it's like filling my hole and my heart with something that um, I, I, I missed out on, having kids. Um, I get that, that feeling that I'm, I, you know, I really, I'm a caretaker, so I love taking care of somebody. Like, I really get the feeling of um, doing something for her than just for me, because, you know, I'm not a selfish person in ways. And if I can't feel that with somebody, it usually fails because I don't get to do it, you know, like take care of her physically or um, help push her become, um, you know, better person, uh, get a different job or help her, you know, like fear I hold her hand to do better, you know, stuff like that. Um, when it comes to other things like my, my uh, sadistic side, where I get a new impact play, that's a whole new feeling, which was amazing. I finally got the experience this year. And Natasha says, would you consider having a little who has a, who have a pet space? I have yet to date a pet um, player. Um, would I? Um, I have seen, I, okay, so I, I've seen some demos, and I've seen um, actual, because I got into the uh, community here locally, and I got to meet um, some owners of pets and and uh, getting involved in the community. I've, I've experienced a lot, and that's why I stopped uploading. Well, that, and I became really busy. Um, but I wanted, because I plateaued, and I couldn't go further on my teaching because all I knew was one topic, one subject, DDLG, that was it. Um, when it came to diaper play, you know, I, I, I seen it, I read about it, I knew of it, but I thought it was weird until I actually met these people and, you know, I had an understanding of things and it kind of changed for me. Um, for the pets, you know, I never seen it. Um, I did finally get to see it and they were, I actually got to see, I, I, one time, one time I was sitting there and all the pets came upstairs in the, in the building and they were all playing. And it was just, it was just me sitting there watching them. Like, they were playing with balls. Like, they were like cats and dogs. It was, it was cats and dogs. There was puppies and kittens. And honestly, I thought it was the cutest thing. Me being able to take care of one, I mean, we talking about a play or are we talking about a dynamic and a relationship because that's, I, I watched a demo on it and that's a lot, that's a lot. Something I'm not really interested in right now, but I don't know, maybe in the future. Maybe. I mean, I'll try. So, yeah. So go back to back to my phone question. Yeah. Okay. So no one's typing anything. When BB comes back, I'll probably just ban him. If he's just gonna be a, uh, he's just gonna be you know, um, a troll. All right. Yes, there is different types of pets. Um. Right, yeah, and that's the one I could do. The one that likes to to play as a pet, but not 100% pet. And I've watched those videos, and I've seen it, like, in my face at a dungeon, and they take that serious. Ooh, I'm just like, whew. That's, that's a lot, you know. 
Okay, where was this question at? See, you got me. BB messed me up earlier. Uh, okay, here we go. So basically, and this is a good question. So, all right, I think I remember how it went. The cat's in the kitchen doing something. I don't even know. Huh. Sounds like he's putting dishes away. I don't know what. Like literally putting dishes away. I don't know. All right. So if if I if I got with a little and and I helped her become independent and um, you know helped her out with her anxiety and her depression and helped her become uh, you know more than what she's ever been before because she's never had that help. Would she still need me? Basically, the answer is hell yeah. <laughs> because I'm just laughing at this cat. It's crazy. So, yeah, she would still need me because now we have a bond. Not like it, like to say that she owes me, but now it's like the uh, you see the kitty. No, I it. So. It's not like say she owes me for everything I've done for her. It's just the fact that the bond we have and um, what I've done for her, she's going to respect me to a point that she ain't ever going to, you know, want to let me go. It would actually grow more of the love because, you know, I went out of my way and did what I had to do um, to see fit of my girl to be a better person and all that. Um, because, you know, bonding on things, uh, usual relationships, you know, like I try to explain to people, there's three kinds of relationships. And if you think back of your uh, previous relationship or now, which I'd hate for you to do because, you know, but the three kinds of relationships when you break up is, um, are you worse than what you was? See what? Like, come on, man! What are you doing? Oh well. So yeah, are you are you worse off, or are you the same as when you got in the relationship, or are you a better person? And most people, they either the same or worse. The same when they got out of a relationship because it was only like two months. That was it. But if it was a year or a year and a half. They normally say they're a worse person because they, they did have a nice car and they don't, or they had a house, they had to sell it or something. Um, but, you know, and, that, and that's, that's, that wasn't a relationship. And that's why I try to tell people. So, you know, there was no bonds. There were no commitment of guiding each other and helping and a hand, not, you know, What's up, Kim Jong Un? How long have we been live? I don't even know. Yeah, he's just playing in the camera for you guys. Cool. So, any more questions? I mean, I could try to do this again next week. I mean, maybe Wednesday. Well, I'm pretty sure Wednesday I could do this again. I apologize. I'm checking my messages because I have not played on my phone while. Uh... Okay, we're good. Any other questions before I wrap this one up? Ooh, a unicorn. Of course, you shallow ass. So are you better or worse from your last relationship? I'm better, actually. Shit, I didn't read the name. Um, my last relationship, it helped me understand 
who I used to be and where I came from and also the changes I needed to do for myself um, was pretty much a slap in the face, but I guess I needed it in ways. Um, but yeah, it's helped me. Uh, well, I'm talking about in, well, in real life. I mean, yeah, local relationship. Yeah, we actually see each other. Right. I can't do long distance. Uh, I've tried it many times, you know, when I was younger, stuff like that. It just didn't work out. If you guys forgot, I got a receding hairline. I'm a guy. I can do that. You know. But I'm so much cuter with a hat, though. That's the thing. Look at that. I'm so much cuter. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not hiding it. I mean, I'm hiding it, but I just look cuter in a hat. I don't know what that dude's problem was. But I'm sure he'll be back, though. So is that it? Oh, it's not shiny. It's because of the light. See, watch. See? It's just a light. I mean, I got hair there. It's just, I got, I, I got my camera bright right now. So, watch. See how much darker that is? I got light going. So, I got so much light going. It's just, it's just doing that. Hold on. Where am I? There we go. See? So, I want you to see me. For who I am, an asshole like the cat. Like I'm the cat, and I'm an asshole too. I know, thanks. I got a I got a body like a god. I got a belly you can pet. So, anyways, um. I could try again do this uh, next week, uh, probably Wednesday. Maybe, just saying maybe. I could try to do this once a week. So you, you girls need to get all your damn questions together. I'm telling you. Any other questions before I go? I'll spill my heart out. I don't care. Ask me anything. Before I end this. Um, Wolfie, yeah, I I have nothing better else to do. Um, I was sick, and I should, I'm going to take a nap soon because I've literally had like two hours of sleep today. I think. I don't know. I'm not really tired, which is crazy. When I When I'm sick, I like... I just, I don't know. I just, I don't get sleepy. It's weird. Uh, Mayo says, gives me time to think up like 30 questions. Yeah. Drove me for three hours. My videos should have explained all this, all my previous videos, but that's fine. We got this. Because honestly, a lot of my previous videos were scripted, technically. I mean, it was my words. But I had to write them down. Like, like let's say I post a video once a week, okay, uh, three months previous to this, right? So I would write, like, as I'm going through the day and a little, I have so many fans that hit me up. And they'll, like, I'll just, like, conversate. And, um, and they'll say something. I'm like, that would be a good question. So I'll write it down. And then I would, I would give a short description on my answer so then when I go to record I'll read the quest like I'll have it right in front of my face while I'm talking and I'll read it and that's when you see my eyes do this and then I'll I'll do the short description of what my answer is 
and then I'll kind of go into it, but I was, you know, a little nervous at the same time. Um, Genesis, I have a question. More like asking for advice. Oh, that's fine. But I'm having a hard time wondering, oh, wording them correctly. Well, try it. Wolfie says, you should sleep some more. Uh, things is bothering me. Uh, a little depressed right now. A little sick right now. Mentally and physically, I guess. Um, ta Natasha, uh, raw opinion on bashing on each other for different kinks, saying you're not a true whatever. Who said that? I don't know what you're talking about. No, there's no kink shaming. I learned that one. Opinions on, oh, on that. Um, no, well, no. I said, I said, I said last. Year, well, the, okay. So when, when I started posting the videos, before I did, I started watching as much as I could on things I didn't know about in case it came up. Um, at first, yes, the ABDLS was kind of weird for me. But then after the fact I had to school everybody that's vanilla, what the hell daddy dom means, and like the, the, the generic term of it, um, I felt like I bet they feel the same way about explaining their selves, which I, they probably don't. I think it's just me that I have some anger issue about it. I don't know. Um, so, I don't know. I, at first, yeah, I mean, I didn't, like, kink shame it. I just, after meeting people, I was cool with it. Like, you know, I mean, I was cool with it. I don't, I don't shame any of them now. Because, you know, I realized I was sick of being kink shamed. And, I mean, I'm in the weird shit. They're in the weird shit. It's not the same shit. Oh, well, you know, it's fine. Yep. All right, well, if that is it. Oh, wait, someone had a question. Uh, Genesis was going to ask a question. I'm still waiting for that before I sign off. <clears throat> Holy shit. You got a few minutes, Genesis. Anybody else want to ask me? Well, anyways, like I said, I'll try to do this next Wednesday. And um, hopefully more trolls come in and say weird things about how we should repent. <laughs> Because uh, I'm a grown man that um, likes to treat his girlfriend um, I don't even know how to word it. That's just so crazy. Like, you know. I like, you know. The funniest scene? Oh, the funnest scene. You mean the the the, the funnest uh, impact play was the only thing I've I've got to do so far. Um, I mean, I mean that I did personally instead of like demos that I've watched. Like me, I just impact is the only thing that I'm like into right now. I want to progress in that I I'm not progressing in. I don't have no one to, to do it with, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, Wolfie, how did you find out you got into DDLG and would you ever consider being poly? Um, yes, actually I have considered being poly. No, no, I never have. Well, no, just an open relationship. 
like if rules and endearment was I get one partner and, and, and everybody's got to meet, then cool. Polly, probably not because I have too big of a heart. Um, how did you find out you got into it? Well, I, I knew that I was different. Um, I claimed to be a caregiver or AKA daddy for the last 17 years. Oh, going on 18 now. So this is about to change a new year. Um, I think I was, I think I was 22 at the time. I don't know. Um, so anyways, uh, me and this girlfriend of mine, we was together for like three years, I think. And uh, that's funny because I talked to her recently, which I talk to her maybe like every three years. And, and I mentioned something about um, like that whole thing, like, you know, I finally figured out who I am. No, thank you, you know, for establishing that with us. Um, it, she, it was kind of her idea, my idea, because our relationship was about to fail, and we wanted to try something different. I was like, well, let's try role playing or something, and it just became who we are, which it like opened us up to be who we are. And she was a little, and I was the caregiver, like the daddy. She wanted to be dominated. Um, she was she's she was good at you know being submissive, so you know I had to uh, bring that side out. And um, but the aggressive dom, I'm not, and that's that's a big problem with a lot. Um, that's why I'm starting to pull back on even calling myself a dom, um, because most females don't allow me to be a dominant, and it's hard to f like fully feel dominant if I've never been with someone well I mean I have technically I guess but I didn't portray the role though so I, I don't know it's that one's a tough one I mean I maybe have in my past I don't I don't know so anyways I was talking to this uh, submissive a few years ago and she told me about uh, we was just talking and she was like you know um, like, like my struggles and my relationships and what the hell I need to change about me. And I'm like, I don't know why, you know, these girls thinking I'm weird. And she said, you're such a daddy dominant. You need to look it up. And I'm like, holy shit, that's me. So that's how I found out, um, progressively that there's a title and I didn't feel weird anymore. Uh, strangest thing you've t tried food, kink and drink. Oh, I'm not going there. Strangest thing you tried food? I don't. I, uh, I I'm sure there's something. I can't think of what it is. Um, kink. I'm not gonna be that open. Well, let's just say there's nothing I haven't done. So there you go. Your own imagination. Uh, and drink, I don't really drink. So, opinion on normalizing BDSM. My opinion on normalizing it. That I don't even know how to answer that one. Like, what's my opinion on normalizing? Um, everybody has one kink. And they have to come to the king kink me to fill out paperwork. Oh, wait, that's socialized. Um, I don't know. I, I guess, you know. Hello, Zaya. Zaya, whatever. You're a little late on this. I was about to shut this down. If you got a question, better bring it out right now. You discovered DDLG two weeks ago, but my ex and I had very mild lifestyle. That's kind of, yeah, it was kind of like it. Uh -huh. Our relationship fell apart due to his chronic depression and my lack of communication. Lack of communication? Don't do that. Can you turn that off? Jesus Christ.
All right, all. I got to go. Love you, bye. I'll try next Wednesday. You want to say hello? We're live. He came walking in playing rap music. I'm like, bro, I'm on YouTube. You can't do that. He would, he would block this video. All right. So I'll try next week, guys. Later.